It's time now for the Great Day Morning Mix, and today is the day, mm. The Woman in Me, the highly anticipated tell-all book by pop star Britney Spears is on sale today. And it's already on track to be the most sold celebrity memoir of all time. For 13 years, Spears lived under a legal conservatorship controlled by her father. A judge ended that conservatorship in 2021, and now Spears mm. is speaking out. I'm, you mm. know, I'm proud of her for writing a book. I, I am. I mean, I think that forever she has been the source. She's been the subject that everyone's right. talking about and running books about and just speculating about. And now she's going, you know what? I'm going to tell I'm going to tell the story. This is one that I might actually read. I'm very uh, fascinated by this. But with all the excerpts that have come out so far, you know, she had uh, her affair with Wade Robson and then the thing with Justin Timberlake where she had to have an abortion. It's it, it, the aftermath is what is going to be very interesting to yeah. see. And I was just watching a video of like how Justin Timberlake handles this news that's coming out and how so he doesn't take a hit. I feel like there's mm. just going to be a lot of back and forth of either. Yes, I did that when I was young and I was stupid or a lot of denial. So it's really going to be interesting once more of these stories come out. Yeah, and but I think it'll be I'm eye opening interested. about that conservatorship. I mean, we all. We heard that word. Okay, yeah. what does that mean? You're in control of someone's controlling you, but she couldn't have a driver's license. She couldn't pick out her meals. No. She couldn't see her children unless she requested it and was had permission to do so. So it'll be very eye opening as well. Uh, all right, we'll see all what, what everybody's saying about it. Okay, hip hop mogul Jay Z is weighing on a, weighing in on a social media debate. It's the question. What would you choose, lunch with Jay Z or five hundred thousand dollars? Here's what Jay Z himself had to say. You gotta take. You gotta take the money. What, you gonna, what I'm gonna say? Yeah, I mean everything now. I'm gonna say. No, everything. no, only because people say, of course you take you take lunch with Jay Z because the wisdom that you would get from him would would be so uh, beneficial to you. There would yeah. only be a matter. You but, would take the money. Yeah, because you, you got the you got all that in the music for <laughs> well, for ten ninety nine. That's a that's a bad deal. I would I wouldn't tell you to cut a bad deal. Like I don't take know. the five hundred thousand. Go buy some albums and listen to the albums. <laughs> it's all there. If, if you it's all there. There you have it. Jay-Z's full interview with Gail King aired this morning and can be found on CBSNews.com. Um, when I read this, my first thing was like, I take the money. Oh, yeah. And then reach out and be like, hey, can I take you to, can I take you yeah. to dinner? I'll take you <laughs> I'll to dinner. I'll pay for it. <laughs> That's a good point. I mean, who would just have lunch with him over that money? Come on. Like I, get, I get his point, though. He, he's written pretty much his whole life. Yeah. And it's all right there in the music. That's what musicians do, right? That's how we learn about them and get some insight into them. So get, take the money, buy the 1099 <laughs> album, and move on. There you have it. That's what everyone Easy should enough. do. All right, guys, there was a very special Aww. delivery this weekend at the game between Indianapolis Colts and the Cleveland Browns. Tylen Jones was at the game to see her cousin NFL wide receiver David Bell play for the Browns. Jones ended up going into labor at the game and the medics at the stadium helped deliver the baby. We're happy to report that Jones and her daughter Kimry are doing well. Jones says her family got two wins on Sunday, the birth of baby Kimry, of course, Aww. and the Browns beat the Colts 39 to 38. Wow. Well, how special. How kind of crazy, cool. too. Yeah. <laughs> like she had said jokingly that she was kind of mad she missed the game. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah. It, was a, it was an exciting win, but then they can, she could bring Kemri back. Maybe they'll do a little celebration or something for her, but I they got so. the debut. Kemri brought them good luck. Good luck. So she is their good luck charm now. Forever and ever. <laughs> An iconic DC event is back for another year. The 36th annual high heel race down 17th Street in their high heels. Runners running their butts off right near DuPont Circle. It's all to celebrate the diversity of DC's LGBTQ plus community and join thousands of costume spectators cheer on drag queens and community members as they race down 17th Street Northwest and try not to break an ankle. <laughs> Festivities kicked off at 6 p.m. The race started right at 9 p.m. tonight. It returns tonight, so it'll be interesting to see all of them.